Don't him reveal his secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to come back around. He, he just. Bro, what are you doing, bro? Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> this nigga so trash, bro. <laughs> DJ, you laughing at shit, bitch? You suck. Like the reaction level is on zero. A front grader level. Your mom sucked dick with her ankle, and your mom got no kneecaps. I didn't. Your mom call on her hands. Fuck you, call your hands. Your mom walk on her handstand. Hey, your grandma got DJ. You can't let her talk to you like this, bro. No, you have to f***ing can't. Your mom drive a punch buggy. Your mom drive a f***ing... It's supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Hey, man. It's the ISO God Sensei. The greatest 2K player of all times and look man i got some more nba 2k 22 news for for y'all man i think i have discovered intel that the speed glitch is coming back and i'm gonna explain to you why i don't know you know you know but but, but i think i've come across something i have redeciphered the information also I am going to be flaming the devs in this video. So make sure you watch this full video. Subscribe if you are new. Help a nigga grow. It's free. And hit that like button. Help the noties get pushed, my boy. So my guy So sent me this screenshot, man. He's in Ronnie's Discord. By the way, man, if y'all ever come across any information, bro, any 2K news information, come to the Swan so I can make a video about it and give you my, my brilliant assessment, man. So, So says, hopefully someone from 2K reads this. In my opinion, stamina in the park should be a thing of its own. It should last longer since it's a game of 21. By the way, I put out this concept, you know, people weren't saying this until I did it, <laughs> you know, years ago. Then in Pro-Am, my career and my team, etc. It should drain quick, quick, quicker, okay? This is facts, it's common sense, man, real life. Um, I understand stamina is just a mechanism to balance things out and not have people spamming moves or the sprint button, but getting tired on a game to 21 that quick is just ridiculous facts it makes no logical sense if you're ass and you can't handle someone moving at a certain speed just say that my boy but in real life if we have little fucking jimmy neutron and timmy turner 12 and 11 year olds dribbling like crazy playing at full capacity and you supposed to be a professional athlete there should be no restrictions period and y'all want to try to mention balance and all this guess what in the best two Ks, it had no stamina. It had no stamina restriction. And they were the most balanced two Ks. So something like this has already existed. You have no point. The most unbalanced two Ks came when stamina became a thing, right? Because the slower you make the game, the less people can move at certain speeds, you break down the skill gap. You guys don't realize that. There, there's a there's a reason all oh, a bunch of youtubers and streamers they couldn't go play stage or pro-am and and like beat people right but now they can there's a reason for that bro I'm trying to tell you <laughs> but yeah anywho man ronnie responds and says fair so maybe he's gonna push this to people you a lot of y'all a lot of y'all don't realize that ronnie doesn't have um anything to do with the game He's just the face. It's like the president. The president don't got shit to do with the world, my nigga. It's the structure behind him that is controlling him like a puppet. Why do you think Ronnie2K's bio says, I'm just a guy disguised as another guy disguised as another guy? Maybe Ronnie woke. You know, he's just a puppet, my guy. So when you roast these 
de developers, fuck Ronnie, man. Go after Michelle Wang and all these gameplay devs. I'm telling you. That's where you should be focused, not the punch and bag Ronnie. But anywho, let's get into it, bro. So, again, right here, man. Right here. Per Wang, the team has addressed stamina with a system that now taxes players' stamina more based on high effort dribble move. What if? Think about this. What if? What if a high effort dribble move is a speed glitch? Think about it. What if now you can choose which type of speed you can like burst out? and um it taxes you because what would be a higher for dribble move a curry slide a momentum that don't seem like a higher for dribble move what would be a high effort dribble move the only thing i can think of is like a super burst what is a high effort dribble move think think about that what do y'all think a high effort dribble move? it's it when, when he puts it like that it makes it seem like you know like in street fighter in fighting games you have like a little turbo bar or whatever and you just like you know you hulk out on niggas like you move faster shit hits harder what if that's a high effort dribble move it makes sense in the terminology and the words right so what if the speed glitch is returning you feel me it makes sense uh, am i am i dumb am i, am I dumb let, let me let me know let me know and also here's another they could be addressing this simply based on the fact that people expose that you didn't need stamina for stationary builds, right? Um, 2K Lab posted stuff and all that, and you didn't really need stamina. Like if you're just like a rec player, if you're playing comp, you gonna need stamina. But if you're just like a like just a casual park player, you're a spot up. Um, you know, like, a, you know, like, you can, like, have your stamina mad low, like, nobody knew this, so maybe they're, like, addressing that, in a sense, I don't know, I think they just need to take it out the game, and just let people move at high speeds, and let's see if niggas can keep up, right, because I'm tired of, when I'm playing on a lockdown, I gotta fight through these screens, I gotta fade, I gotta follow this dude around, right, and the screens plus his bruiser, it bumps my my speed down, and now I can barely move when he's like abusing the screen and shit. But yeah, plenty of other stuff, and yeah, do a couple moves. I got fucking asthma. This nigga spamming square on me. I'm being double, triple, you know, trying to ISO niggas. It's it's hella annoying, man. If if someone can't keep up with you, they can't keep up with you, man. It already existed. They were the best 2Ks. What I'm saying isn't crazy, man. But anywho, let's listen to what uh Mike Wayne got to say about 2K. They posted a little TikTok. What's new? What we going to see? They say this shit every year. I hope so. To not only my team, but my career and the W. I hope so. More ways to play. Hopefully it's lit. Level up your life. Now for Park, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S players will step into an all new version of the city that also has a uh -huh. system, matchmaking options, and more. PS4 and Xbox mm. One players will set sail on an all new dedicated basketball community neighborhood built on a sailing cruise ship. For my career on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, the all new city and the my career story become one in a groundbreaking narrative experience with new features like his talent. I just want to play basketball. That sounds cool though. NBA ballers? My career experience. My team for NBA 2K22 evolves as the ultimate experience for building and competing with your own dream team on day one. Adding my team draft as well as even more additions coming throughout the year, including an original all new game mode this holiday season. Stay tuned for more 2K22 updates. Doesn't Mike Wang just seem like he has no soul, bro? Like I I personally hate people like that ass. I personally hate people where I don't see any emotion out of them. You know, those are the people you can't trust, man. You can't, you can't, it's like, like they're unlike readable. They ain't really got much emotion in them. Like, do you have a soul, my boy? Are you a walking bot? So look, let's get on these devs, man. Okay, let, 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 let's really get on these devs, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. So this dude, Ronnie, right? By the way, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, man. 
after you done watching a bunch of my videos today. Whenever you get on Twitter, make sure you follow me, Z Swanteezy Baby, link in the description. Follow all my medias, and then watch a bunch of my videos. But look, Ronnie says, my power is to get people verified everywhere knows no bounds. Okay, Ronnie didn't actually do this. He's lying. This guy has like 1K followers, some nigga like impersonated a 2K league player, you know, whatever. So he's lying about this, right? Then Iggy Mo says, remember when I did that one thing for you that was super nice and you said you'd pay me back out of kindness of your heart? Now look what Ronnie says. Listen, listen guys. Stop letting these fucking devs bitch you just because they can give you a logo, bro. Get some fucking gold, my nigga. What is wrong with you niggas? Y'all understand, like, bro, in any other gaming community or any community, devs can't just, like, roast the the community. Like, they, they don't snap on, like, on Twitter. Like, it would be unacceptable. They would get flamed on YouTube, and then the game will get bashed, and then they would get fired. But for some reason in this 2K community, since they created this logo and they've created flying niggas out like they bitches, we have a culture where niggas just suck billion dollar dick and suck these niggas dick and don't call them out because they want to get flown out in the past. And now there's a logo, you know, like so now niggas is sucking dick, double twisting and gawking these niggas. Because they want a logo, bro. And they don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. So Ronnie always be coming at niggas. Uh, the fucking uh, Mitch guy always coming at niggas. When do you see devs do this? I, I don't understand. Like, it's crazy to me. Like, this is like a place of service. You don't see people at, like, Starbucks. Like, 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 well, you, you, you do but like in a real place of this is like y'all are what what is this like you know put the information out be cool what is y'all snapping at niggas threatening niggas low-key doing like what is this shit this is scummy practices what is this y'all gotta do more y'all as a community you need to call out these creators bro in, in general, not just with like Iggy Mo, it's like, it's hella people, right? Fuck this logo shit, bro. Like the only way 2K will genuinely like get better, bro, is if everyone comes together and says their real opinions. We all know what it is. We all know what it is, bro. Dead ass. If everyone, if it's like half and half and people are like scared to talk and tell the truth and stuff and always doing shit like nicely, shit won't ever change because us as creators we somewhat have an influence over like the community you know and it can make them look really bad therefore making them like lose money and stuff so it's like bro like if niggas ain't on the same page if it's not that big like it's never going to to change bro it's like people only speak the truth about 2k when they don't need 2k anymore like they've just like their clout has superseded it you know it's it's crazy but um anywho ronnie said i don't you and many of the others who have asked for one sided that matter at least you don't rip our game too often and have the nerve to ask like others you know it's like a it's like a um hey you know don't do this and like i'll do something for you man you know it's like I don't know, bro. And this is just like a constant thing. But anywho, this is another marketing dev, right? Um, he tweeted out that he's trying to like interact with the with the creators and shit, right? So demos are for the average potential player to trial a game and make a better purchase decision. They're not really intended to fuel content creation, though I get why you want it for that. I think a better path for creators and press alike is hands-on early access, right? And I keep it 100, right? You gonna see other niggas under uh, this post and it's kinda like, it's it's too soft. Like it, it's too, it's too, it's too sweet to where they're not pushed enough to do something, right? And keep in mind guys, 
I just want to have more fun with the game. Okay, that is my sole goal. Okay, and and anytime anytime I tweet, it's not to be some doing this for views or like, bro, no, bro. Like I, I it's all to get a better experience for the community and me. That's it. I love 2K, and that's it, bro. The better 2K does, the better I do, right? With this YouTube shit. The more money I make, the more the more money I make, the more popular it is, the better it is for my videos, etc. My streams, all that. So I want it to be good. Like I want it to be popular. Like no one's like trying to describe. I'm just I'm keeping it 100, man. But anywho's man, I say demos show why someone should get the game. By y'all not doing it this year, supposedly it seems like y'all have something to hide or you're just trying to make more millions. People will make so many mistakes on their first builds while a demo would prevent that, right? And if several builds could get patched, several things wrong with the game could get patched before people spend out their money and they start changing builds. Um, you can see the dribbling system and things could get buffed or, or fixed before even though they always like mess it up for the worst uh when it when the game comes out they always mess up the dribbling or whatever but like either way they're gonna patch the dribbling to what they want so it doesn't really matter but it, if it's if it's for like it's just a better experience overall for users because 2k makes a lot of mistakes bro you know like they they make a lot of mistakes like the, they had no idea the power forward and next gen. It, it, it's just, it's a lot of things they always make mistakes on. So a demo is ideal. I guarantee you in the, their marketing team, bro, when they're talking, when they're talking, I guarantee you someone brought up like, yo, if we don't have a demo or whoever comes up with these ideas, if we don't have a demo, we're going to make so much more money. Like it's common sense. Like think about that shit, bro. Everyone's gonna be rushing to play, so you're gonna rush builds. Everyone's gonna be rushing to post videos, so a bunch of y'all gonna be watching. Everyone's just in a rush to make builds, spend money, make mistakes. While if you have a free trial, you can see the build system, and then when the game comes out, you more know what you want, right? But now you're gonna have to go through that trial while the game's out and spend that motherfucking cash. I know a lot of y'all aren't too stupid to where you'll go OD, but most of the community, bro, I think a lot of y'all are going to mess up. And if you follow YouTubers or if you don't, you know, like it, it, it's going to be bad. I don't have to personally deal with that because I'm a god and my builds are always the greatest and they last me all year, every year, my first builds. But a lot of y'all aren't like that. So it's like, you know. But here's how Badge Plug and Power said it. Badge Plug says, the most important reason why a demo is a necessity in my opinion, you, you should have told him, it is a necessity and not an opinion. Come on, Badge, don't, don't keep it sweet on these niggas, man. But he says, it's to learn the builder and go into the game knowing which build you want to begin with. Without that, it will be absolute mayhem. You know, he's saying it. But he ain't saying it. And Power says the same thing. And then answer correct problems within the builder and gameplay. You can't adjust the builder in the demo, but once the game is made, you can't really change it when players are already made. Also helps with major gameplay issues we see long before the game. They're both saying the same thing. But if you're not like saying like, I, I don't know, man, I don't know that. That, that's just my approach, man. I, 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 guess, I guess you need, like, people like me that is, you know, more extreme with it, bro. Like, because that's how you get shit done, bro, to be honest. And I, 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 I honestly think y'all should behave like me on Twitter, bro. Even though a lot of y'all do and y'all go way too far already. I just, I want to eliminate, like, the soft niggas trying to be nice. Y'all not getting paid by these niggas, bro. You're a customer. Talk to these niggas how you want. 
and you know it'll it'll push them more to do things that the community needs um so to tweeted this out right um like look <laughs> like bro like the devs be going at these niggas bro look Iggy Mo says, sad thing about NBA 2K22 is that in order for the community to thrive, one of the game's current next gen needs to be exceptionally worse than the other. That is facts. So everyone goes to the same side. If both games are good, the views will literally be split by 50% for streamers and YouTubers. Um, I guess he like deleted this tweet or something. But uh, this is just from like a content perspective, you know? <laughs> I think the main reason for the current gen and next gen thing is just people didn't have the PS5s, bro. And it it, it does it does split it. I mean, even though it, it depends how you look at it, like more content or split. But this year, that hole was, you know, you post next gen, like niggas ain't watching that shit. You post current, niggas watching that shit. But look, look, look at Ronnie. LOL, so let's purposely make one bag. Get the fuck out of here. I don't, I don't get it, bro. And he, then he deleted the tweet. Like, when can devs just, like, come at creators, bro? Like, I, I don't understand. Then this Randy guy says he isn't lying, though. By having two completely different games, you're splitting up the player base. Which is true. Um... And I'm not on any side. I'm just, you know giving my opinion about this ronnie says we don't build this game just for our streamers you definitely don't you build it for the casuals <laughs> we build it for anyone who wants to play 2k and may not be able to jump to next gen we are going to put in our best effort on both um first off ronnie this doesn't make sense what you were supposed to say is we want to reward people who have next gen Cause if you just make one game for both, then, you know, like other sports games, they would still be able to play it. But you know, come on, Ronnie, like defend your shit a, a better way, my boy. So Cole tries to make a funny tweet. Bro, shooting on 2K22 current gen is gonna be tough. That wind on the cruise ship is gonna be ass. Then he says English, like what? What is going on? <laughs> Like, <laughs> I guess he forgot to put B, you know, so gonna ass, and you know, a nigga cuz standing up, you know, you, you could think what you want, but that's not the neighborhood, you know, most, most niggas would delete their tweet, you know, so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. I understand both sides, to be honest, I understand all three sides, okay? So, Young Dirk tweets out, I still don't understand why 2K is making current gen and next gen two different games, right? And, you know, we already spoke about that different viewership uh, for us content creators. But for y'all, I mean, that's kind of fire, even though you would be spending, you're going to be spending like more money. But you, you got two different games two different opportunities to have a game that that's that's fun to you bro but um yeah man ronnie says we are setting the stage to innovate for years to come. current gen is capped in terms of memory really is it i'm not gonna lie to you i know people be saying the opposite but i think everything on next gen could have been on current gen i ain't gonna hold you like maybe you gotta tamper down the city but who really cares about that the gameplay was trash like uh, you know like you know y'all had a lot of issues on next gen i don't know bro like it just seemed like like the only next gen benefit is the city <laughs> like y'all still had heli issues like i it's like how are y'all being so innovative and all this other shit when the only difference is the city like what other next gen feature did y'all implement other than the city like of course next gen has a bunch a better a bunch 
a bunch of like way better features than like any other 2K, like change your takeover, mama mentality, all this, but couldn't y'all have put that in the other 2Ks too? The only difference I'm seeing is the city. I don't know. Um, y'all let me know what you think. And then he says, so we're setting the stage for console most we'll have in years to come. Can't punish those who, Ronnie, won't have it this year with limit on stock. So we are going to put a great experience out there. On So Dignify says, you know, he's a popular creator. It's just tough in terms of content creation. Next gen will become obsolete again like last year. I don't know about that. I think I think next gen might be more popular. I think more people have their consoles, bro. To be honest, y'all let me know down below if you have your consoles. And he says viewership di differential is drastic. That is very true. And then Ronnie says, read my tweets from earlier. We build this game for as many 2K fans as we can. That's our number one priority. Dignify then says, that's why I was sort of hoping for a single game for both consoles, kind of like how other sports games have done this year. But I get it. I get it too. And then Ronnie says, then you guys will say the game is the same. Are you kidding? No one will say that. Just because y'all hear it every year, it's the same game because y'all be using the same animations. And you know, same broken builds etc that that's why people say that but then he goes are you kidding look at look at how he like bro most people would like delete their tweet bro like it, it's crazy to me then he says we owe it to you fans and our own passions to push forward you know and that that's what i think is wrong with a lot of gaming companies these days bro they 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 put what they want above what everyone else wants. I believe to really make a like a really great game is you give the consumer what they want and then add what you want to it. Like you add more onto that idea, but it seemed like nowadays they it's just like mostly what they want. You know, for more marketing sales, they're always trying to be innovative and I don't know, bro innovative copying other popular games and shit like that anywho man make sure y'all subscribe if you know like the video help the notice get pushed out turn on them post notice my boy go check out my other videos but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm that made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome